The, there was an interesting debate or a lecture last week, Mark Rothenberg from US privacy agency, uh, NGO Epic, uh, Epic uh, spoke at a free legal aid conference on this whole issue of privacy, data privacy. It was a very interesting presentation. Um, and he, at the end of his speech, made one very simple point, that what is, the, what is the star which we follow? Because it's highly complex and difficult to get right. And it was always going back, I suppose, that ultimate constitutional imperative to protect individual rights and recognize individual rights. And I have a fear in the, um, in the catch-all provisions we're putting in here for all public bodies, in effect, to have data sharing capabilities. We risk, at some future point, and we can't be exactly certain as to the applications that would apply here, that we are in breach of the fundamental rights of individuals to privacy, and certainly within this, the right to give their consent or to be able to give consent where, where this applies, and that's what our amendment seeks to protect. It is that ability, while it is cumbersome, as Deputy Daly may say, or burdensome, it is protecting best case. And I think it's very pro our best approach in the fundamental way to the whole data privacy area. And I remember, I mean, discussing that, that, that case where our data retention, our retention laws have now uh, seen to be in breach of European fundamental rights at the time arguing that, that I think it was the Department of Justice introduced them, that this will come back to haunt us. And particularly in a country which seeks to be at the forefront of this new digital industry, where so many companies are here and, and we benefit so much from the kind of being a, a centre for uh, the digital services industry. Uh, and this should apply in the public as well as the private sector. We need to set the highest possible standards. While it may be burdensome, while it may require a lot of governance and, and effort by the state, I think it's better and proper for us to set and seek to set the highest standard and include within that standards which allow citizens to withdraw consent. And I said that Mr. Rottenberg cited the example, and I'm not saying we're in this category, but the current what's happening in China, where the Chinese government are using access to all sorts of social online data to build a really kind of frightening uh, surveillance state. Now, we're not in that space. But as the use of artificial intelligence, facial recognition, and a whole range of new digital technologies evolve, I think it behoves us to be ever more vigilant in terms of protecting individual rights, which is the purpose of the amendment that we propose.